Ken Curtis was an American singer and actor best known for his role as Festus Hagen on the CBS Western television series Gunsmoke. Although he appeared on Gunsmoke earlier in other roles, he was first cast as Festus in Season 8 Episode 13, December 8, 1962 Us Haggins. Born the youngest of three boys in Lamar in Prowers County in southeastern Colorado, Curtis lived his first ten years on a ranch on Muddy Creek in eastern Bent County. In 1926, the family moved to Los Animas, the county seat of Bent County, so that his father, Dan Sullivan Gates, could run for sheriff. The campaign was successful, and Gates served from 1927 to 1931 as Bent County Sheriff. The family lived below the jail, since the jail was the whole second floor and his mother, Nellie Sneed Gates, cooked for the prisoners. The jail is located for historical preservation purposes on the grounds of the Bent County Courthouse in Los Animas. Curtis was the quarterback of his Bent County High School football team and played clarinet in the school band. He graduated in 1935. During World War II, Curtis served in the United States Army from 1943 to 1945. Curtis was a singer before moving into acting, and combined both careers once he entered films. Curtis was with the Tommy Dorsey Band in 1941, and succeeded Frank Sinatra as vocalist until Dick Hames contractually replaced Sinatra in 1942. Curtis may have served simply as insurance against Sinatra's likely defection, and it was Dorsey who suggested that Gates change his name to Ken Curtis. Curtis then joined Shep Fields and his new music, an all reeds band that dispensed with a brass section. Curtis met his first wife, Lorraine Page, at Universal Studios, and they were married in 1943. For much of 1948, Curtis was a featured singer and host of the long-running country music radio program WWVA Jamboree. Ken Curtis joined the Sons of the Pioneers as a lead singer from 1949 to 1952. His big hits with the group included Room Full of Roses and Ghost Riders in the Sky. Columbia Pictures signed Curtis to a contract in 1945. He starred in a series of musical westerns with the Hoosier Hot Shots, playing singing cowboy romantic leads. Through his second marriage, Curtis was a son-in-law of film director John Ford. Curtis teamed with Ford and John Wayne in Rio Grande. He was a singer in the movie's fictional band The Regimental Singers that actually consisted of the Sons of the Pioneers. Curtis is not listed as a member of the principal cast. It is possible that he played a bit part, but Curtis is best remembered as Charlie McCory in The Searchers, The Quiet Man, The Wings of Eagles, The Horse Soldiers, The Alamo, and How the West Was Won. Curtis also joined Ford, along with Henry Fonda, James Cagney, William Powell, and Jack Lemmon, in the comedy Navy classic Mr. Roberts. He was featured in all three of the only films produced by Cornelius Vanderbilt Whitney's C.V. Whitney Pictures. The Searchers, 1956, The Missouri Traveler, 1958, with Brandon D. Wilde and Lee Marvin, and The Young Land, 1959, with Patrick Wayne and Dennis Hopper. In Five Steps to Danger, he is uncredited as FBI agent Jim Anderson. Curtis also produced two extremely low-budget monster films in 1959, The Killer Shrews and The Giant Gila Monster. Also, in the film adaptation Conaher based on a book by popular writer Louis L'Amour, he starred opposite Sam Elliott as an aging cattleman. Curtis Guest starred five times on the Western television series Have Gun, Will Travel with Richard Boone. In 1959, he appeared as cowhand Phil Jakes on the Gunsmoke Season 4 episode, Jayhawkers. He also guest starred as circus performer Tim Durant on an episode of Perry Mason. The Case of the Clumsy Clown, which originally aired on November 5, 1960. Later, he appeared in Ripcord, a first-run syndicated action adventure show about a company providing skydiving services, along with its leading star Larry Pennell. This series ran from 1961 to 1963 with 76 half-hour episodes in total. Curtis played the role of James Buckley and Pennell was his young disciple Theodore McKeever. This television program helped generate interest in sport parachuting. In 1964, Curtis appeared as Muleskinner Graydon in the episode Graydon's Charge of the syndicated Western television series, Death Valley Days, also guest-starring Denver Pyle and Kathy Lewis. 
Curtis remains best known for his role as Festus Hagen, the scruffy, cantankerous, and illiterate deputy in Gunsmoke. While Marshal Matt Dillon had a total of five deputies over two decades, Festus held the role the longest, in 304 episodes. Festus was patterned after Cedar Jack, a man from Curtis Los Animas' childhood. Cedar Jack, who lived 15 miles south of town, made a living cutting cedar fence posts. Curtis observed many times that Jack came to Los Animas, where he would often end up drunk and in Curtis' father's jail. Festus' character was known, in part, for the nasally, twangy, rural accent which Curtis developed for the role, but which did not reflect Curtis' actual voice. Besides engaging in the usual personal appearances most television stars undertake to promote their program, Curtis also traveled around the country performing a Western-themed stage show at fairs, rodeos, and other venues when Gunsmoke was not in production, and even for some years after the show was canceled. In two episodes of Gunsmoke, Carol O'Connor was a guest star. Years later, Curtis guest starred as a retired police detective on O'Connor's NBC program In the Heat of the Night. He voiced Nutsy the Vulture in Disney's 1973 animated film Robin Hood. A decade later, he returned to television in the short-lived Western series The Yellow Rose, in which he performed most of his scenes with Noah Beery Jr. In 1981, Curtis was inducted into the Western Performers Hall of Fame at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Curtis' last acting role was as the aging cattle rancher Seaburn Tay in the television production Conaher, 1991, by Western author Louis L'Amour. Sam Elliott starred in the lead role, and Curtis Gunsmoke co-star Buck Taylor, Newly O'Brien, played a bad man in the same film. Buck Taylor's father, Dub Taylor, had a minor role in it. He joined the Gunsmoke cast in 1967, superseding the previous deputy, Thaddeus Thad Greenwood, played by Roger Ewing. Curtis married Tori Connolly in 1966. They were married until his death in 1991 and he had two stepchildren. A statue of Ken Curtis as Festus can be found at 430 Polosky Avenue in Clovis, California, in Fresno County in front of the Educational Employees Credit Union. In his later years, Curtis resided in Clovis. Curtis died on April 28, 1991, in his sleep of a heart attack in Fresno, California. He was cremated, and his ashes were scattered in the Colorado flatlands. Thank you for listening to Ken Curtis Story. What do you think of his painful death? Let us know what you think in the comment section and let's talk. If you find the video good, please don't regret one like and share them. Goodbye and see you in the next videos. Thank you.